Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So once again we are with you, Quran and Science by Sar Ahmad. Please subscribe, share my channel. So today our topic is food and digestion, and this is our part one. So dear students, first we'll talk about the nutrients in food. Food stores energy and contains essential nutrients for our bodies with various types of nutrients classified as follows. Number one, carbohydrate, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, water. Now first we'll talk about the carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are compound made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen and include sugars, starch and cellulose. They supply most of the body, body's energy. Starch. Starch is found in food such as rice, potatoes, bread, cereals, noodles, yum, cassava, beans and grains. So, we'll talk about the testing for the starch. The presence of the starch in food can be tested by the use of iodine solution. A blue-black color is obtained if iodine solution is added to a starch. Testing for glucose. Normally, we can see that every people in Pakistan and other countries, they are facing the sugar problem. So, this is very important to control the glucose in our blood. So, for testing for glucose, we are using the Benedict solution. A light blue color can be used to test glucose presence as it forms an orange-red precipitate when mixed and heated. Fats Fats composed of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen provide over twice the energy for the same amount of carbohydrates, keeping us warm and serving as a reserve energy source. Testing for fats Ethanol can be used to test fat content in food by creating clear solution with oil and a white emulsion with water. You can see the picture over here, test for the fats, the test for the carbohydrate, molish test and test for the protein, then to predict test and test for the oils and fats. Now protein. Protein play a very important role in our body. Protein composed of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen and nitrogen and crucial for blood building cells, tissues, enzymes, hormones, growth and repairing worn out body parts. We can have all these proteins with the help of meat, milk, cheese. These are very important for our body and like the eggs. Now we'll talk about the disease which is concerned with different kind of deficiency of protein. Protein deficiencies are linked to two main syndromes, Keshvakor and Marasmum, effective millions of children worldwide and causing over 90% of death when first identified in 1935. Test for protein. The presence of soluble protein in food can be tested by using Burette solution, which is a mixture of sodium hydroxide solution and a small amount of copper sulfate solution. A change to violet color is observed when the bulb Pure solution is mixed with a solution soluble protein. We take the test tube and put the pure solution and then we are going to add and then we have got the purple color. Fiber. Fiber is made up of cellulose which cannot be broken down by our bodies. It passes through the body and leaves in the form of pieces. Vitamin. Vitamin example, vitamin A, C and E are compounds needed in a small amounts by our bodies for health and growth. Now we'll talk about the diseases of vitamins. Lack of vitamins in the diet can lead to deficiency disease such as scurvy, bleeding gums and rickets, stunted growth and softening one teeth. Now here we are giving you a table in which we are going to talk about the vitamin A, B1, C and D, E and K. So first we'll talk about the vitamins, then we'll talk about the function, then we'll talk about the deficiency and how we can get the food source all these vitamins. So first we are going to start from vitamin A. For maintain healthy skin, 
for normal vision this is very important and it can be provided by the vitamin A what happened with the deficiency there will be dry scaly skin and night blindness how we can get from the food source one is carrot egg vegetable and fish these things will improve the deficiency of the less of the weak of the deficiency of vitamin A now B1 what is the function for releasing energy from carbohydrate proper function of heart what deficiency when we have b1 less uh, in deficiency that very very diseases affecting the nerves and muscles the food we uh, which provide us b1 is the yeast cereal peas and ulgari now vitamin c what is the function of vitamin c for healthy teeth and gums for absorption of iron the deficiency we will face by vitamin C this is bleeding of gum easily bruised low resistance to infection now what is the food source for vitamin C is citrus fruit tomato pawpaw and guavas now vitamin D for the growth and development of bones and teeth deficiency brackets stunted growth softening of bones and teeth the food source egg liver dairy products now vitamin e for protecting cell and vital tissue what happened with the deficiency of e nerve de degeneration in hands and feet what is the food source vegetable oil wheat germs and nuts now vitamin k for clotting of blood deficiency bruises easily prolonged bleeding and the food source which will complete the which will be taken by the vitamin k vegetable liver vitamin k also made by the bacteria in gut now we'll talk about the minerals minerals are substances needed by the body in tiny amounts for proper growth and development example of minerals are sodium iodine iron etc calcium iron iodine and sodium calcium the function for this for bleeding strong bones and teeth for muscles growth and clotting of blood food source dairy products eggs green vegetable iron for making hemoglobin deficiency leads to anemia the food source liver and meat iodine making hormones of thyroid gland deficiency lead to goiter seafood and seaweed sodium for regulating our body fluids common salt water is the most important part of our body water is needed for various life process and chemical reaction in our body such as digestion and transport of nutrients energy of energy value of food carbohydrates fats and proteins are our main supplies of energy the amount of energy in food is known as the energy level or energy value energy values of carbohydrate fats and proteins 17 kilo uh, kilo joule per gram carbohydrate and fats 37 kilo joule per gram and 17 kilo joule per gram will be the protein so jazakallah for today we will come again with another exciting part 2 of food and digestion assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh